Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you a little bit about this nature comp that I've been playing in PvP and some of the mercenaries that I've teched in on the bench. But before that, only 3% of you watching my content at the moment are subscribed to the channel, which is really hard to believe. Um, that means 96.5% of you are actually not subscribed. So it will mean the world to me if you guys could hit that red button down in the corner, subscribe to the channel, get on board, help us grow a lot quicker than we are. Um, we'll be able to get a lot more mercenaries content out. But enough of that, let's get back to the video and let me talk you through this comp, which I think is pretty fun on PvP. So this is the comp here to the right. So we've got our three main nature guys. So we've got Malfurion, we got Brucan and Guff. Now there's quite a lot of nature characters, mercenaries out there. So like there's Brightwing, for example, there's Lady Anacondra. There's, there's plenty that you can tweak around with, try and find the build that suits you mostly this one for me is the one that i've gone with um we don't have lich king so i've teched in dawn grasp um Vardum because obviously he can freeze a character when he jumps off the bench straight away at a five speed which isn't too bad um that actually can save you from winning or losing a game so that's why i put Vardum in so what you want to open up with is you want to open up with malfurion and Brucon and Guff. So Malfurion, the reason you want to start with this guy is because he is going to make all your speed of your nature guys a lot quicker. So he deals 10 damage to a character and then all of your nature abilities are three speed faster. Um, you're running the Living Root Staff, which is every time you cast a nature ability, restore five health to your characters, which is just a, a nice little heal every time you cast a spell. Um, he also has the Entangling Roots, which roots an enemy. So if you're going up with a heavy comp that's going to like trying to attack you down then this is always good to use um, maybe turn two turn three in just to root it so you can finish it off or finish another mercenary off without that guy attacking um, next we have brucon so he is going to obviously do his lightning bolt ability quite a lot that's why we have his crackling band on so he's going to deal 14 damage and then just stack up nature damage constantly turn by turn if he doesn't get killed off and then the third one is Guff. So with Guff, you've got the Living Brambles equipment equipped in because that's going to do an extra damage because the only attack you're really using is the Living Brambles. So you're going to obviously combo that out at two speed after Malfurion has used his Surge. So it's just going to be, this will go to a one speed, then Guff's going to go to a two speed, and then Brucon's going to go to a three speed. And you can just do that turn after turn killing off your opponent one by one, just choosing what you want to kill. And obviously, if you go after red guys straight away with Guff and Brucon, then on turn one, they're gonna that, that mercenary will die. And then as you progress through the turns, you can then kill off in one swing, any blue, any green, whatever you decide once you start scaling with the lightning bolt. Now, as of the tech cards, once something dies, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be the Malfurion. So Malfurion's gonna die off because they don't want the speed buff anymore. Um, so then you're gonna sub out Varden because what Varden's gonna do is he's gonna come down and freeze an enemy straight away. And then you're just gonna bounce between that and Flurry until you've got enough to then cold snap and freeze their entire board. Um, there's no way of speeding these up unless you sub in a cane, but it's very unlikely you're going to be able to bring out two minions at once. Um, if you do, you're always going to want to do that with Zyrella and Sam. So if two do end up dying on the odd chance, then subbing those two in at the same time is obviously starting like a BTX comp, but at the late game where Sam's just going to start snowballing and killing off whatever's left on their team. So that's it for the nature comp, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Here's a little bit of gameplay about how the comp works. Okay, quite an even team we're up against. So we will just jam in our usual nature comp. Mukla dies because it's red. And then we stack up, we scale ourselves and kill the other two. Yeah, there's eight to all. The other guy just attacked something. For 30. That's huge. At least we kill a unit here. Okay, 
Okay, everything's quicker now, so we can basically kill another unit if we want. So we've got 13 plus 17 times 2, which is 34, and 13 is 47. And 47, 57, 64. Do so we can kill Millhouse or Savannah? So this obviously, Savannah dies because it's a double anyway. So that'd be 26 plus 34. Just 50, 60, so we'll be on two. So we could probably go for an AoE if this doesn't die. This is probably attacking. This is going to do eight. We're quick enough. We'll kill Savannah's off. Nah, we're going to kill them. We're going to kill this off. Could root it. This is going to be enough now to kill that. We'll use that just in case. That's 26, so. Okay, it was 13, the other thing, so that's kind of lucky. Right, speed's increased again. That's the one thing bad about the route. Once you route something, your speed goes up. It's like now do we route something so it doesn't attack. This is going to do 8 to all. And this has come down with no cooldown, so that's probably going to 6 speed, deal 16 to 2 things. Which is this and 26 to this, so maybe we target that. This is shooting, not attacking, this is doing things, so rooting doesn't really matter. So what was this? This was 16, 16, 56... 76, that's perfect. Kills Brucon. Okay, nice. Kills that. Hopefully it hits Brucon. No. Oh, it always hits the lowest health. He's got the thing, isn't it? Yeah, nice. Okay, so this is perfect. So when two die... You always jam down Zorella and Sam back to back. This is good for the freeze, but having these two down at the same time is nuts. Okay, is he taunting on turn one? Attack an enemy, gain taunt, possibly. Still 46 to it. And then this will do 28. So 28 and 46 is not 77. Close. And we could Sam in Whirlwind. Kind of thinking that's the play. Just in case it does. Which it hasn't. Okay, Savannah's probably the best one to target. Do we just kill it off? Do that, it's quicker. Okay, so this is a protector build, so it's actually going to be pretty easy if we just play our normal nature comp. Hopefully he plays all of its protectors now and we can just literally ping them off one by one. Okay, it's got Diablo. It's kind of scary. So Diablo at 6 speed is going to attack an enemy and we're going to be slowed. Well, Furion and Wind Fury Thrall. Christ, we're probably going to have to kill Thrall off. We can root Thrall, though. We just pop Thrall. Twenty-eight. 
28, 28, and then we kill it. 32. Oh my lord. Okay, we hit Diablo go. Yes. Okay, the good thing here is that Brucon is going to be sped up. He's going to be a three attack, so we could either choose something to kill or maybe go after Diablo. So it's going to be 26. Could maybe even chain lightning, but then he's going to be quicker as well. So he's going to have a two speed or a one speed. So Brucon probably needs to do his one speed as well. So we go for one. It's going to be a 50-50 on, on the speed, isn't it? So this is going to do 26, putting that down to 23. This is 13. We're definitely going to have to do this and then hope to get an attack in on this. Okay, nice. We got the attack off. Oh, okay. He hasn't used that one. That's fine. Kill Diablo. That takes a hit. No worries. Let's go for the AoE. Okay, do any of these attack? So we've got attack, deal damage. We've got just dealing damage. I'm thinking freeze something. Maybe freeze. This is going to be four speed now. So the freeze is fine. So it may go off first. Can maybe get this off as well. We deal 20 to this. Uh, 10 to that. And this is going to be 28 twice. So that's 50 something. We're probably going to have to go all in on one of these. Maybe go for the death blow freezes everything. I reckon their attacks will go off first though. Oh, we don't get the death blow to the heal. And that's going to kill Malfurion. Oh, we do because it's, uh, it didn't really matter though. Go for a Zyrella, keep her alive, and then Sam comes down for the finisher. This is 28. No nature ability now, so this just kills that. So Cornelius going to attack. He is for an 8 speed, so we'll freeze Cornelius. Rose Guff. Blink Fox has got a really fast speed manipulation. Refresh your... Refresh your character's ability. The next ability is five speed quicker. Cornelius is going to... Possibly gain taunt and give 14 health. It might be too slow. Maybe he's just going to attack. We can't freeze again. Can't get the death rattle off unless we go all in on Cornelius. But then this is going to attack before, isn't it? Maybe not. It might do us 10, 10 speed. This probably won't kill it. It's going to be 28. Yeah, it will actually. Oh no, it's not nature. So it's just going to do the 28, 28 and then 16. Two away. He did attack, that's fine. Okay. No point in anointment in. Plus three for each time. Let me just carry on just doing this. I mean, we could heal this. Maybe the freeze goes first. We could have killed it with the 8 damage. Nice. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. 
Um, like I said at the start of the video, please hit that subscribe button and get that 96% of you down. Let's uh, let's get that 96% of you being subscribers instead of non-subscribers. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.